When you decide to build a website, one of the first decisions that you have to take even before you start building a website is what domain name that you will buy. And just like having your own name, a domain name is tied to your identity, your business, or your personal portfolio. And just like having your own domain name or having your own name, changing a domain name in the future is although technically possible, but it's not cheap, it's not easy, and it's not quick, it's very time consuming. That's why it's much easier and much better to have a great domain name before you start building a website. So in this video, I'm gonna give you eight pro tips that you should follow before you purchase a domain name for your business, your website, or for your personal portfolio. Let's get started with tip number one. My first pro tip to get a great domain name would be to choose either a brandable domain name or a keyword rich domain name. Let me explain the differences with a simple example. A brandable domain name could be like expertroofers.com if you're in the roofing business, while a keyword rich domain name could be bestroofersinphoenix.com. Now, both these domain names can work for a roofing business, but the first domain name leans towards having a more of a brand identity, while the second one directly gets to the point and just tells you what the business is about. Now, this is a creative decision or this is a choice that you have to make on what kind of domain name that you need to purchase. As I said, both can work, but it depends on how you want to structure your business. How do you want to advertise your business? Are you just trying to get more clients or are you trying to build a brand? That is the sort of decision you have to take in the beginning and purchase the according or purchase the right domain name according to that decision. My second tip to get a great domain name ties in with the first one. And that is if you're going the branded route, always choose a brand name or even a business name that is memorable and easy to remember. For example, if you think of the biggest brands in the world right now, Sony, Apple, Google, Meta, Microsoft, uh, Amazon, and there's hundreds of different brand names across the world that are easy to remember and are top of your mind. The common ground between all these names are that are easy to speak, easy to remember, and therefore they are memorable. So keeping all these tips in mind, you should go for a domain name and even a brand name that is easy to remember and memorable. Now, one caveat that you might fall into is that you might not be able to find a domain name if you come up with a great business name. In that case, you can go for a variation of that name. For example, we at Brainstorm Force make a beautiful product, one of the most popular products in the world for WordPress. It's a WordPress theme called the Astra theme. But having that great domain name also has its downsides. Because of the popularity of the word, it's very hard or almost impossible to get a direct domain name or the exact word as a domain name. That's why we opted for a variation of that domain name. And the domain name for our product is called WPAstra.com. And WP stands for WordPress or an abbreviation of WordPress on which our product is based upon. So if you're unable to find a great domain name which exactly matches your brand name, then you can always go for a variation. Common variations for brands go for goxyz.com, getxyz.com, xyzonline.com, and there are many other examples. I'll try and leave some examples in the description of this video. My next tip to get a great domain name has to do with the length of the domain name. Now, you might be the best, most affordable, and fastest roofing company in uh, Texas, but trust me, nobody wants to do business with fastest, cheapest, affordable roofing services in texas.com because the domain name does not inspire trust in your users. And that's one thing you have to remember. Most of your business users or most of your customers might find you from Google. And that is where they the first thing they read is your domain name. And the domain name has to be catchy, it has to be memorable, it also has to be trustworthy. And if the domain is too long, it just feels spammy. So even though the domain name is on point and it does uh, explain what your business is, your services, and even gives you some adjectives to work with, the great long domain name that I mentioned at the beginning of this point does not make sense from a business perspective because it's just too long and users might find it, or I'm sure they'll not find it trustworthy. My next pro tip to purchase a professional good domain name has to do with the spelling of the domain name. And the pro tip here is that there should be no confusions about the spelling of your domain name and it should be absolutely easy to spell for everybody even if they listen to the domain name just the once. Now, I've been there, I've been a beginner and I've tried to come up with a domain name or purchase domain names that are clever, they're witty, common misspellings of words just to sound cool, maybe hip, but that's just terrible advice to purchase a domain name because most people will not find it clever or funny. They'll probably find you incompetent if they look at a domain name that is terribly spelled. And that also goes for hyphens and numbers. They might help you spell out a word correctly, but it does not look professional and does not inspire trust in the eyes of your users. 
And that also goes for common spellings that have a lot of repeated words. For example, if I give you a domain name, pressetup.com, it's easy to spell press setup, but when you combine those words together, it's very confusing to the end user. How many S's should I include this in the domain name? And that's gonna cause a lot of confusions and a lot of people just might end up on different websites when they're trying to access your website. So avoid misspellings, no hyphens, and avoid uh, any kind of domain name that has a lot of characters coming together or same characters coming together. My next tip to come up with a great domain name is to think about how your domain name sounds versus how it reads off the screen. I don't need to explain this, I'll just share a few examples. So here's some examples. Think of a business called itscrap.com. Sounds pretty great, right? But what happens when you put both of them together? Can you read it a different way? I'm sure you can. Another example is speedofart.com. Sounds pretty awesome, right? But when you put, to, put it together, it does come up with an interesting way of reading the domain name, right? Similar example would be choosespain.com. Again, sounds pretty good, doesn't work. Another example would be teacherstalking.com. Now, when you come up, combine the words, it becomes creepy. So, always not think about how the domain name sounds, but also try and write it down, or just look it up on a computer, and also see if it can be read in a secondary way. My next pro tip to come up with a great domain name is to also think about the TLDs that you're gonna use with the domain name. Now, if you're not familiar what TLDs are, it's the part that comes after the domain name, which is called the top level domain, or TLD. For example, you're familiar with facebook.com, and here the .com is the TLD, and .com is not the only TLD available in the world or in the market. There are tons of other TLDs now available. For example, you can purchase a domain name with a TLD of .com, .in for India, .us for USA, .pk for Pakistan, and also there are some other broad term TLDs. For example, .shop, .club, .store, .blog, .design, .xyz, and many other different kind of TLDs, which you might not be aware of. Now, the common uh, ground is that a lot of times the domain name that you are trying to purchase might not be available as a .com, but might be available as a different TLD. So the decision here is, should you purchase that domain name if it is available in a different TLD? And the simple answer I can give you is always think about your audience. Because for example, maybe you haven't heard all of these different TLDs, and if you come up with, or if you see these TLDs coming up in Google search, you might not trust them. And that's the most important part, right? You want the domain name to be as such or your domain name to be such that people can trust it. For example, newer generations or whatever uh, teenagers, maybe uh, people under the age of 24 might be familiar with these newer domain names and why might also trust businesses with these new TLDs. But people above, let's say the age of 45 might not be familiar with all these newer TLDs. So if you purchase a domain name, even if the domain name is great, but the TLDs, let's say for example, .shop, newer generations might not be comfortable and they might just not click your website or even if you run paid advertising and they see a domain name .shop or something like this, they might just bounce and then you might be spending or wasting resources in acquiring traffic that does not convert. So always think of your audience or always keep your audience as the top priority when coming up with what TLDs you should purchase with your domain name or what TLDs you should choose for your domain name. My next pro tip to purchase a great domain name has to do with legal issues, that is considering trademarks and potential copyright issues before you decide to purchase a domain name. Let me tell you a bizarre story of how this can happen to you in the real world. A Canadian student by the name of Mike Rowe had a part-time web design business. So he thought, okay, let me attract more clients. I'll set up my own website and attract more clients. So he set up a site called microsoft.com. You can see where this is going, right? The tech giant came after the domain name and claimed that this is phonetically similar to their domain name, Microsoft.com. And of course, after a brief battle, Microsoft being the giant, won the battle and acquired the domain name, Microsoft.com. And unfortunately, Micro had to shift his domain name or his business to Microforums.com. Now you might think this is bizarre, but this does not happen just in the domain name world. You might have heard of the fashion brand Louis Vuitton, right? They sell handbags, accessories, shoes, and fashion apparel. But a South Korean business also had a very similar name, Louis Vuitton Duck. And of course, the luxury goods maker went after the business and claiming that they were hurting this business by using their brand name. And the fun part is that Louis Vuitton Duck, the South uh, Korean business, was a restaurant business. 
So you never know what can happen if you decide or if you accidentally purchase a domain name that is similar sounding or similar looking or is a misspelling of a common brand name. So if you're investing in a domain name, it's always a good idea to consider an attorney and have them uh, do a trademark and a copyright search to make sure that your domain name is free from these issues. My next pro tip related to domain names is to always protect your domain names and your identity once your business starts getting successful. As you understand, your domain name is your identity on the internet. And once you start getting successful, you can start getting eyeballs, a lot of malicious users or malicious businesses will also notice and they'll try to defraud people under your name. And what they'll try and do is either uh, register common misspellings of your domain name come up with variations for example they'll, they'll try and add hyphens to your domain name and register a new domain name and even smarter businesses what they do is they try to register different tlds of your business name for example let's say you have a domain name called abcxyz.com then they'll try and register a domain name called abcxyz.in.pk.blog or a very similar sounding domain name set up very similar website and scam people out of their money. And the worst part is that the end user will think that it's your business that has caused them all this trouble and taken their hard earned money away. And there's a double damage to you, you didn't get any money, but you're also getting blamed for the scam that other people pulled under your name. That is why it's important to protect your domain name at all costs. So how can you protect your domain name against identity theft? You can register all those common misspellings yourself and also be on the lookout for other misspellings be registered by running who is searches or uh, hiring services that do this kind of job for you, trying to find other similar sounding websites on the internet and sending them notices to take them down. And also coming to point number seven or the previous point, also register trademarks and copyrights or whatever legal protection you can get for your domain name. So if a business tries to get access to your domain name or tries to register a similar sounding business or domain name, then you can send them a legal notice and take them down. And that's all the great domain name tips that I have for you today. What's your ideal domain name? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn where to purchase a domain and how to set a website using a domain name, watch these videos right here that I'll place on the screen. You were listening to and watching Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. For more entertaining educational videos just like this one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next video really soon. Take care, stay safe, and have fun.